what up YouTube it's Canadian waiver back again with another video today I'm gonna to be showing you my moisture method so I'm gonna show you what I do after a wash to get that moisture in my hair to lock it in so I'm good to go and good to progress let's get right into that video ain't nobody wanna put a time in I've been in the stool straight grinding It's trying to do me like a Simon's dog Flying in the motherfucking pilot dog Fucking with the vibe, you could try it dog I'm the best motherfucker I can recall Trust me when I say it ain't bias dog Talk shit, you gon' get silenced dog Talk shit, you gon' get silenced dog Alright YouTube, so the moisture method we're doing today is called the Hatman method. Since I recently cut to a 3 with the grain, I'm just going to do a quick little wash with my conditioning bar to get my hair all in place so I can do this method. Starting off, I'm just making sure my hair is completely wet before I go in with my 4040 conditioning bar by of course. Since my hair is already clean, I'm just making sure that this bar is coating every strand of hair because I want to make this wash as seamless as possible. I'm trying to make sure those nutrients from the bar are going into my hair so I can maintain as much of that as possible. You're going to know when you have that perfect amount of lather that it's time to go in with your brush. I'm going in with my Torino Pro washing style curved palm brushes right now I'm focusing on my crown I'm not gonna do too much detail work but I'm just gonna make sure my crown is laying in place as best as possible now I'm gonna go in with my royalty 726 medium hard wash brush this is my workhorse wash brush it's a seven row brush and honestly I can hit all my angles the best possible without overlapping and I find it lays everything in place I'm gonna keep stressing this mirror brushing is key you never want to be lazy and think you're gonna put that mirror down you're just gonna end up causing more problems for yourself than you intended so right now I'm gonna add a little bit more water lay down my pattern and rinse this out for my first wash Try to always use a mesh do-rag or a mesh wave cap just to rinse everything out. I don't want to get any excess particles or hair off of my scalp. Once you're sure everything's rinsed out, it's time to unrag and go in with your second wash. Same thing as the first, I'm making sure my hair strands are coated with that conditioning bar. This is all part of the Hatman method. I want to make sure I have conditioned hair before I replenish everything with a moisturizer and then later lock it all in. As you can see, it's a lot easier right now. Just getting my hair to lather up because it's so clean. Not like my first wash. As I've talked about in every video, consistency is key. I'm gonna start back in with that pointed palm curve brush and do some crown work. I wanna make sure everything is laid in place that medium brush wasn't doing it for me so I had to pick up the hard brush and get that working then I'm gonna follow up that hard brush using that medium pointed palm curve brush and same as before I'm gonna go in with my 726 workhorse medium hard brush as I said this is the home stretch the lather is perfect so I'm just making sure I'm hitting all of my angles the best way possible as I mirror brush. I don't want to create any issues in my pattern. I'm just trying to set myself up for success once I unrag. Between these clips, I added a little too much water into my hair. So it's starting to run into my eyes. I'm just gonna stop, dry off my brush, wipe my face. I don't want anything in my eyes to stop me from seeing my pattern properly. Once we're reset, it's back to getting that working with that medium brush. At 735, I could probably spend an hour brushing my hair with this. 
Everything is just laying down perfectly. I can see my angles. I really have no complaints with this brush. If you're able to get your hands on one of these, i probably pick up two. I probably could have stopped washing my hair a few minutes ago, but I want to make sure I'm going over everything multiple times. As your hair is more manageable during a washing style, you want to be sure that everything is laying properly before you rag up. And remember, it's the little things that go a long way when you're on the road to elite waves. Practice makes progress. Remember that one. Using the tail of the baby tress, I'm making sure my crown is left open after going in with that brush. Now I'm just going in and laying down my pattern with all the excess lather. Shout out to the GOAT RG3 for that one. Throughout the wash, I made sure that I removed any excess clean lather from my brush and put it in a little cup on the side. That just adds to that hold for when I'm rinsing everything out. I don't have to worry about anything shifting when that water is touching my hair. As you can see for yourself, my pattern is sitting properly right now. I'm not worried about anything being out of place from the wash as I've gone over it multiple times. Now I'm going to throw on a damp crown patch top of my crown area, followed by a damp do-rag. And you know I'm using that no-knot method. That's the only way to go after a washing style. Once that do-rag is tied, I'm going straight into my rinse. Once I'm done that rinse, I just want to give my hair a pat dry. I want to absorb most of the water, but I still want my hair to be damp. Hang tight while I go get my moisturizer. I'm going to be using Diva's Argan Oil Moisturizer. It's water-based and some food processing gloves. Shout out to Blasian Waver for this one. Apply a little bit of moisturizer in between those gloves before you take your rag off. And once you take your rag off, you want to be as quick as possible. You want to stop your hair from over curling. So apply that moisturizer from the crown out to the rest of your pattern. If you need more moisturizer as you see fit, just add a little bit into those gloves and work its way into your pattern just like you did from the start. your hair is fully coated it's time to rag back up I make sure I use a damp do rag and if necessary I'll spray it again with a little bit of water just to make sure that moisturizer is broken down since I forgot to add excess water I had to do a little bounce back session after unragging from this hat man method so I'm gonna get right into the results for you all right YouTube these are the results after my bounce back from the hat man add a little bit of oil to seal that moisturizer in if you like the results all the links to the products used will be in the description below we're on track for that 500 subscriber giveaway so make sure you're locked in i got more content coming for you over the next few months make sure you hit that like button smack subscribe and tune in to the next video Yeah, that is one.